Roberta, can we have a few words, please? Clutching her lawyers, E. Jean Carroll stepped out of court with a beaming smile and an unprecedented amount of money, calling the victory a huge defeat for every bully who's tried to keep a woman down. Donald Trump's motorcade had already pulled off before the closing arguments. In less than three hours, the jury reached a unanimous verdict. Trump should pay the writer 65.6 million pounds. Trump was found in a previous civil case to have defamed Carol and sexually assaulted her in the 1990s. Her lawyers argued that by continuing to deny it, her reputation as a trustworthy journalist was destroyed. Trump's lawyer said they'd be appealing and accused the courts of playing politics. I have sat on trial after trial for months in this state, the state of New York. Attorney General Letitia James, and now this. Weeks. Weeks. Why? Because President Trump is leading in the polls, and now we see what you get in New York. Trump will have to pay a sizable sum pending the appeal. He's embroiled in another court case where he's accused of inflating his net worth. Donald Trump likes to always talk about how great of a businessman he is and how he's worth billions of dollars. He likes to talk about the Trump brand. But in this particular case, that argument actually hurt him because when it comes to punitive damages, one of the important elements the jurors are to consider is the net worth of the individual and how much damages to award to punish them. So obviously, a high net worth individual merits a higher punitive damages award this defamation case is just one of many legal battles Trump is fighting this year. Also playing out in the New York courts is a civil fraud case where he's accused of inflating the value of his properties for financial benefit. He also faces criminal charges for allegedly falsifying records so he could pay hush money to a woman he'd been accused of having an affair with. Meanwhile, federal authorities are bringing a slew of criminal charges against him around the issue of classified documents that he kept after he left the White House. And he's facing federal and state trials over alleged election subversion in the last presidential vote, which he's accused of trying to overturn. Trump has denied all charges against him and dismissed this latest case. This is another scam. It's a political witch hunt. And somehow we're going to have to fight this stuff. We cannot let our country go into this abyss. As lawsuits against Trump are stacking up, he's on the campaign trail, selling his case for another four years. Reacting to the verdict, Republican rival Nikki Haley says Trump's legal troubles were distracting from fixing the border and tackling inflation. Repeating her new attack line, America can do better than Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But for Trump supporters, they see these cases as proof of a conspiracy to take down the former president. The real question in this election year is what will the small group of swing voters in battleground states make of a candidate constantly in the dock?